Now we're going to hop into the next player that I think that the Eagles should get automatically if he's available at 30 for the DT position. His name is Mozzie Smith. Mozzie Smith, in my opinion, is a sideline to sideline player that's a space eater. He's 6'3". 323 pounds and in, in terms of tackles he led this class in tackles in the DT and the SEC by a wide margin I like that I like that I like how he led college football in tackles for a DT position so I'm going to read what Pro Football Network has to say about it, about him. At 6'3", 337 pounds, Smith has a massive, naturally well-leveraged frame. With his size, he can shrug off chip blocks and observe, absorb double teams, of course. It's well advertised that Smith isn't just incredibly big, he's very athletic too. That much was clear when he was the top freak on Feldman's freak list in the summer Per Feldman Smith has a 33-inch 33 ver 33 vertical jump, a, a 9.45 broad jump, and an absurd 6.95 three cone. He also logged 22 reps of 325 pounds on the bench press at the NFL Combine. The way he utilizes 225, Ian Cummings. So, yeah, Mozzie Smith was also the strongest DT. So not only did he have the most tackles, he, he had the most strength at the combine. He's a powerful human being. I would love to have that on the team next to Jordan Davis as well. I just want power. We could probably get both of them. To, if I'm being honest, we might be able to trade back. I would love it. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. All right, guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Be notified for the vibe. Be easy. What's up, what's up, guys? It's your boy Roy back at it with the back end of this. And this is the Preaching to the Birds podcast. Where we like to bring you the latest in breaking Eagles news as it comes to you lot. Today, since the draft is two days away, I want to bring you two players that I think the Eagles should draft with the 30th pick if available. Immediately run to the podium, do whatever you got to do. Just get there and get that pick for the DT position. All right, now that's been said. Let's hop right into it. Like, first person I want to talk about is Brian Brisset. All right. Brian Brisset, in my opinion, is one of the most talented DTs in this class, this 2023 class of DTs coming out. He's one of the most talented players in general to be realistic for being completely real, for being completely honest with each other. 
Brian Messier is 6'5", about 297, <clears throat> and ran just under five in the 40-yard dash time. Has heavy hands, has everything in his body to really, really be a freak athlete in, in the NFL. The problem with Brian Brisset is he had a little trouble in his past, not anything criminal or anything of that nature, but he had a not easy life. His sister died while he was playing. He had to take some time off for that to deal with the mental trauma from that. You know, any person, any person, any any man, any any person that has a family member that they care about will understand that, that feeling of, of sadness. Uh, and then he also has some injuries that also played a role in his in his sadness. And he took a lot of time out of, of Clemson. But before <clears throat> he started working in Clemson, or before his collegiate role in Clemson, he was the number one player, number one player in the nation that year when he was recruited in 2018, 2019, whatever it was. This man has a lot of capability. We just, and the Eagles are the type of franchise to be able to get that out of you. So I'm going to read what Pro Football Network says about Brian Brisset. Brisset's burst and power in conjunction can obliterate run plays. The Clemson DT has elite power, capacity, and can leverage his explosiveness and his superb length into brutal knockback power. He's able to violently extend and plow blockers back at the point of attack, and he fully extends to exert maximum power. Going further, Brisse possesses impressive upper body torque and can generate immense amounts of force on clubs and swims. He also has the upper body torque to throw down blockers in a sudden, brutal burst of energy with his power generation. He can wrench blockers aside and clear contact early in reps, but beyond that, he can create displacement when latched with active leg drive. And that's from Ian Cummings from the Pro Football Network. Like, Brise has it. He has it. He has all the things in his body. He has everything available to him to become a great DT in this NFL. Especially in this scheme. Imagine Brian Brise, 6'5, 298, next to Jordan Davis. Come on, man. Come on. Like, you know, we love having huge players. We love having tackles that are 6'5", guards 6'5". It's, it's going to be insane. We're going to be the real giants in the NFL. Come on.